Another place where it's easy to get confused is in a text editor on the command line. Because you don't have any buttons, you don't have a mouse, then everything has to be done with the keyboard, and there's not a whole lot of space in the terminal window to show you any help. So for example, in the last video, when we were talking about why it's okay to be a little scared of the command line, we went through an example where we modified a previous commits message. Let's go ahead and modify it back to be what it originally was. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in git commit, and then I'm going to pass it the amend parameter. When I hit enter, this opens up VI, which is a text editor on the command line. Now, depending on what operating system you use, this could also be Vim, V-I-M, or Nano, N-A-N-O. Or, if you're following along on Windows, this may actually open up an actual text editor for you to manipulate the text file. And with Git, you can actually set it to do that by default. Even though you can set it up this way, this is actually a great practice for when you maybe need to adjust text on the command line when dealing with a server on Linux and you don't have any graphical user interface to manipulate text. Okay, so once we're in VI, it's a little difficult to tell exactly what's going on here. If you haven't been in it before, it kind of looks like we have a bunch of back scroll and our cursor's actually been lost. But if you move your cursor up and down with the arrow keys, you'll see it moving around and we can navigate the text that's on the page. At the very bottom, we have some information about the file that we're manipulating right now, which is in our .git folder, which contains all of our git information for our repository, and the specific file is commit edit message here. Now we're currently in view mode, that is we can't edit the content of this without moving into insert mode, and we can do that by pressing I. Once we're in insert mode, you see down below that there's the word insert, and if we navigate the cursor up to our message, we can move it, and we can actually press backspace, we can type in some new text, press backspace again, and now we're back to the text of our original commit. So just like if we were editing a text file in a graphical editor, we need to be able to save this and then exit out of the program. And we do this by passing a string of commands to the command prompt. First, we have to get out of insert mode, and we can do that by pressing the escape key. Now you see insert is no longer there. Now if we want to move into command mode, we need to press colon, which is shift, and then the semicolon key. And now you see below, we have the colon here. From here, we can type a string of commands to run, and the command to save is W. So we're going to add a W. And then the command to exit the program is Q, so we're going to go ahead and type Q. When we press enter, it will save and exit the program, and then it will run through the commit that we just did before with the amended message. 